Welcome to another Mercedes video, this 2009 C200 and in this video I'm going to be changing air front suspension arm So I've already done some preliminary work We're up in the air on the axle stands And it's safe and this is a suspension arm in question Apart from there's some playing the board on it It was picked up on the MOT and the inspection when it was at the dealer So I've got to replace it over there And it's held in by nut on there But I think the best way to get to it is with an impact But I need to disconnect the strut from the knuckle And you saw, you saw me do that in the in the drop link video, new drop link and it should be easy enough to uh, show what size that, that nut is on on there and it's definitely not smaller than the 24, it's probably maybe a 20 or a, I think, or 22 it's, it's looking like a 21 so I'll cross that bridge when I get to it so what I've done is I've managed to uh, undo the nut from this the top of the ball joint, it's 21mm and I had to disconnect the strut the caliper and the ABS sensor so I had a, a clear run at getting in with the impact and wound it off and I've broken that loose a bit and that's like a big torque, torx but the other side it's just a 21mm nut so once I brought this ball joint off, I'll get that ball out and then the suspension arm can come out. After much struggling, I've got this control arm out and this is the reason, that ball joint. So there was a play on it. So if I get, uh, get the new part, yep, you can see the right. Um, yeah, that feels a lot a lot stiffer now. This, this ball, I thought this was going to be an easier one. That's why I, I did the ball joint first, but... It absolutely fought me and unfortunately I didn't have an e talk socket big enough so you know, in the end up I had to use some uh, more grips and that's what got it out so fitting it's basically the reverse of taking it apart so I'm going to do all this off camera once I've buttoned up I'll come back to you and hopefully putting it, putting it back together should be a damn sight quicker than Taking it apart, probably run this nut down the down the thread a few times just to make sure it threads in easy. So I've just got this final bolt to torque up, and you're supposed to do it with the suspension at its normal ride height rather than drooped. Because if you tighten it up when it, the suspension's drooped, as soon as it goes to its normal ride height, you could easily tear the bush. So what I've done to mimic it is to jack it up, jack at the bottom of the arm until the cast just comes off the axle stand and that imitates the suspension in its ride out and then I can torque the bolt right so all buttoned up and it's been on a road test drives perfect you just need a, a front wheel alignment and I'll have to do that another time so that's a confirmed fix and the repair was a success and the ball joint on that on the old dam it was definitely loose so yeah, whoever MOT'd it and obviously the Mercedes dealer, they were absolutely right to pick up on that. So basically the suspension's all 100% and that's all, all the big jobs done. So I'm going to end the video here. Hope you enjoyed this one. As ever, thanks for watching and I'll see you there.